Hey guys, it's Rob, and today I took delivery of this uh, three-axis gimbal and also the P2 Pro flight controller um, from JIYI. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, so I won't even try. Um, what I'll do now in this video is just a quick unboxing of the uh, gimbal only. We'll do a separate video for the uh, flight controller, so we'll put that one away. But uh, if we just open up the box, you'll see there's the gimbal itself. I'll just take that out. Now, it's a three-axis gimbal, of course, so you've got the three motors. And uh, what I've noticed is that the motors are covered in a nice rubber protective case. So that's obviously going to keep the elements out a bit. And uh, it looks like the wiring is all uh, positioned very neatly. And the, um, the GoPro camera is secured by uh, this ring, which clamps around the actual lens of the camera. And I'll do another video shortly just to uh, show you how that actually fits on. But... Um, it looks like a very neat compact unit, quite light, and uh, the actual control board is attached as well. I'll just put that down here. What else comes in the box is a um, like a BEC, so that can operate from uh, 3S up to 6S, and that's what actually powers the flight controller. Standard uh, mounting brackets. And one thing I really like is that it comes with different uh, tension rubber balls. You know, with my um, taro gimbals, I found that the stock balls were too soft and it caused a lot of jello, so I actually had to um, purchase stiffer balls. But with this gimbal, they give you the option. Okay, you've got uh, different weight rubber balls you can try just to, to find the optimum uh, setup for your quadcopter. So what I'll do now is I'll mount this on uh, my taro. Um, 650 Pro and uh, try and get some uh, airborne video for you. Hey guys, it's Rob. So I've now got this gimbal fitted to my Taro 650 Sport. It took me five minutes to assemble the gimbal. It was just a matter of uh, attaching these brackets really. And uh, what I've done is just soldered on a plug adapter that connects to the balance board on my battery just for um, initial testing. I'll wire it up properly uh, later on, but I just wanted to try and get it flying as soon as possible before it gets dark today. But uh, one thing I found is that it balances very nicely with the uh, GoPro 3 camera. And uh, in the instructions, there's also a, a balance attachment if you're using a GoPro 4. You just need to put a little uh, extra balance uh, pin there. But uh, yeah, it works well. What I'll do now is I'll just power up the gimbal and just show you how it works. So I'm just going to connect uh, the balance port in the back. It just takes about 15 seconds to power up. You'll see that it comes good. Now, once um, once I do the permanent installation, you can actually connect uh, receiver cables to control the yaw and the tilt on the gimbal. But as you can see, it's uh, it's powered up now. Uh, let me just show you how nicely it holds its position. So that I'm moving the quad quite rapidly in both roll and pitch, and the camera's holding its um, position level nicely. Also being a three axis gimbal, as you yaw left and right, you'll see there's a bit of a delayed reaction there. And what that does is it allows very, very smooth movements when you yaw. Even if you yaw quite rapidly, the gimbal is compensating. So uh, yeah, so I think it's ready to fly just for an initial test. I'll just charge up the battery and uh, we'll go flying. Thanks for watching.